Hi there, so this is a short tutorial for how you can create uh, mail merge emails in order to provide feedback to your students in a quick and timely manner. So right up here on the screen is sort of an example of what that email might look like. So I wrote to one of my students, who happens to be me, um, a basic email and provided the feedback that um, I collected while I was watching them actually deliver their Planet Project pleasant presentation. So the way you set this up is first you have to go into Drive and under Drive you're going to create a new form. And once you've created your form you might end up with something like this. So my form just has their name, email address, and then the criteria that I want to provide to them as sort of text boxes that I can fill in. You can use any types of questions here but remember you're doing a mail merge so whatever content you put in these boxes is going to show up on the students email so it needs to kind of make sense um, in, the, in the construct of they're going to see it in an email. So as I mentioned I created the form. Once the form is um, done you'll have something that looks like this where you see the headers across the top of your form that are related to the questions that you actually wrote. So then what you need to do is you need to go into your email and actually compose an email to your students. So I have dear student name and you notice that student name is in between a dollar sign and two uh, percent signs. And these words student name directly correspond with the column student name in this particular spreadsheet. So I continue that throughout the email. You know, So thank you for presenting your planet project in class today. Below you'll find my feedback and suggestions for improvement. So I took my text boxes and made them three different spaces in the email. So there's information accuracy, multimedia components, and in-class presentation. And so under those, similar to the student name field above, I have fields where it's going to grab from the spreadsheet whatever I inputted about information accuracy, multimedia components, and in-class presentation. So once you have that email drafted, what you need to do is save it and it'll show up in your drafts because you don't it's just going to live there. And what you'll do is you'll go back to your form and you'll put in some information. Um, so you're putting in the student name, the email address, whatever feedback you have for them. And once you've inserted that information, it's actually, actually going to show up in your form here where it says, you know, name, email address, and so on. So I've actually done um, kind of two fictitious students, so you can just sort of see what it looks like. And now what happens, if I go up to the top of my spreadsheet, I have a tool here that says Mail Merge. You don't naturally have that tool there because you actually have to install it as a script, um, similar to Fluvru if you've ever used that before. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Tools, and you're going to go to Script Gallery. And if you type in Mail Merge, the one you're looking for is this edited another mail merger and what you would do is go ahead and hit install. Now I already have it installed on mine so I don't have to do that. So I'm going to hit close and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the word mail merge and I'm going to hit start and it's going to run the script and so it says select the template so I'm going to choose the template from my Gmail drafts And notice I got a little menu up here that says email sent. So I sent one actually to myself to see if this works. So there it is, J. Wood and Atomas Charter. Now if I go into my mail and I go to inbox, oh, there it is, planet feedback. And if I open that up, here's the email that was sent. And it has dear Joe Wood, because that was the student name. Then it has the message that I had originally wrote. And then these fields underneath information accuracy, multimedia components, and in-class presentation was the feedback that I actually provided to the students. So it's a quick and easy way to use a Google form to collect all your feedback and then quickly send it to your students all in one fail swoop, kind of just in three clicks. Um, let me know if you have any questions.